even with the model and the framework, I was still finding that faculty were quite challenged by trying to visualise what content and pedagogy combined with um, ICT, enhanced learning and teaching, might actually look like. There's been a fair bit of work done, um, for example, by Shulman um, in 1986, in fact, that looked at um, how uh, faculty try to match particular pedagogies and approaches to specific content areas. And this has recently been worked on, for example, by Jennifer Jones at the University of Wollongong, 2008. What's been found is that, well, and, and Goodyear, in fact, has pointed out in 2005 that we, we know very little about how teachers actually engage in design. Another notion as well that needs to be considered is that some lecturers are from um, business or from industry. They're very much content teachers and may have difficulties or issues around the language. Booth and Anderberg in 2005 did um, some study around this and found that some faculty found it quite unfamiliar, the language of pedagogy. There's also, as I've mentioned previously, practical issues such as time limits and even where there is sort of flexible learning designers or a department to provide that, quite often it's limited funding, um, availability of time limits from the, from the support unit as well as the individuals who've got quite heavy teaching loads. Most academic development units would in fact be keen to empower their faculty to be able to in the future design their own activities and their own adapt their own programs to ICT enhanced learning and teaching. As such there, there needs to be a process around the, the whole adaptation uh, design that enables the, the faculty to focus on the processes of education rather than simply the content. So what do you in fact include in a pedagogically sound course or programme, whether it's a flexible learning one or, or a face-to-face -face or a purely distance one? So what I did was I look looking at the research that's been done and off the back of the experiences that I have with faculty and the, the feedback that I got from various conferences from presenting the model and framework was developed a mind map. I uh, was given feedback on the mind map and, and this it's in now in about its uh, sixth different form. You can see the general course design. You have several main areas and what I've tried to do is colour code them. So the first area on the, the flexible learning course would be the welcome area. Within the welcome and contacts area, the, the tutors are encouraged to introduce themselves, to actually create an online presence and sense of themselves as, as people, which of course helps with issues such as support, um, and where students have anxiety about various aspects of the course, whether it be content or skills, academic skills or ICT skills, then it's good if that rapport has been initiated from the word go. The other thing, of course, is, that's very, very important is peer support. So aspects such as course participants introducing themselves, um, which could be something where they uh, put together a site and then interact through a discussion board or a blog or a wiki. But the main thing is that there is that interaction and interest and comment on other students within the course. Also really important, especially with flexible learning, um, uh, where faculty uh, where students have difficulties or issues with um, technology with academic strategies um, all of these you need to make very clear where support can be found and how to get it in a timely manner so um, and you're welcome contacts this is this is a good place to to put those the next area is communication and sharing this is very an interactive area, very much an interactive area. Here, students will be accessing uh, and faculty and maybe uh, members of the community who are interested and uh, invited. You could possibly have visiting uh, academics or speakers. Um, I say that in inverted commas. So as part of a discussion board. Uh, so all of these uh, the individuals might be accessing the course at any one time. 
Students might also have e-portfolios housed there, which could be uh, Web2 or it could be some sort of um, legacy system within the institution. The main thing is there's, there's a balance between formal areas and informal areas. Um, so that there might be a sort of a break time area where students can just catch up with each other and faculty. Um, but one thing that does seem to work really well is a separate informal area for faculty and for students. Furthermore, um, a discussion around netiquette and ways to interact online, which is a, which is often new, um, certainly within a formal education environment for, for students and um, aspects such as a frequently asked questions area can help a lot of students who um, may, maybe within your frequently asked questions in the answers you might have links to videos you might have text you might have audio so that you're uh, addressing um, a lot of different learning styles and learning preferences within the actual support area as well as the content and learning area the administration um, course info and guidelines is really important as well. This would sort of be a one-stop shop uh, where to find assessment criteria, the waiting for grades, uh, rubrics, learning outcomes, timetables for the whole of maybe it would be a semester or a year-long course. Um, students would also be able to look at their grade books, um, gather feedback from there, and faculty would be able to see things like engagement and completion reports for the learning management system. The topic area or the content area is, well, looks relatively complex. Um, however, what it is, is it's an overview of what could be used in a flexible learning course with all of its aspects, choices um, and, and different tools that could be put in place to support and assist um, students and faculty. As such, uh, the faculty, when, when I work with them, are encouraged to not include everything but to pick and select and match um, things that they feel would be uh, most efficacious in a particular circumstance especially based on their experience of what, what works well in face-to-face -face circumstances with a particular activity. Often this might um, involve a discussion around how that might translate to um, an online, uh, either synchronous or asynchronous type approach, but it's, it's a good starting point to start thinking about uh, how activities can be adapted. Within the content area as well as, as a, an awareness raising is the fact that scaffolding is an incredibly important aspect of any content course. Um, so models and examples, multimedia that can um, support or explain quite complex concepts, frequently asked questions, areas where peer-to-peer -peer support can take place, um, and discussions. So this might be again synchronous or asynchronous, um, maybe chat room or virtual office hours uh, between peers. Lots of collaborative work um, as well as uh, tools that can give students an individual voice such as uh, podcasts um, are, are encouraged. The course itself is split into different modules or topics so it's pretty flexible. Um, so uh, a, a faculty member can decide whether they want an entire topic or if their course is already split into modules, they might have the focus of a module that fits into these areas. And, and there can be pretty much as many topic or module areas as the faculty member needs. S to date, we've had a lot of um, very positive feedback around the model. Um, ranging from <laughs> at last something I can understand and access um, and really does answer the, the question what do I put in here, where do I start um, to uh, very positive comments 
around the fact that it's it's quite creative. It it has enough flexibility for people to have a discussion, a creative discussion around it, and to really run with it. So um, obviously, the uh, mind map is still under development. It's uh, iterative development. Um, and as more feedback is uh, gathered from faculty members and from my colleagues and from exposure at conferences and other forums, then changes will be made.